Got a quick little mail haul here from Outlaw Toys, Black Major Toys. I'm gonna cut the bag open. Let's see what we got here. We should have four figures inside. Should have. I pre-ordered these a while back. Wish that I would have bought more of them. I'm getting messages on my computer. And for those of you who don't know, who may be brand new to watching any of these videos, the Black Major figures are a third-party factory custom G.I. Joe type action figure. Uh, right now we have a few different army builders going. I typically will buy one of each for a set. I don't army build, so one of each figure is fine with me. We have a Night Viper Bats division. I'll take this one out of the package here in a minute. Let's go over the entire four figures that I got here. Alley Viper Bats division. It's got the bat logo on the shield. I believe it also has it on his chest. Alley Viper, Snake Eyes, Hunter's Division. Uh, this is an all-black figure except for his gloves and the red logo on the shield. These guys are the assassins. And a new... I'm not sure what that was. I think the cat knocked something over. A new Night Viper, Hunter, Assassins. The Snake Eyes Hunter. He's all black, but he has a slightly different logo on his chest than the other one did. The original Hunter. The original uh, Snake Eyes Hunter figure. This logo is like a, like a goldish orange color. I think that's the only difference. The last one had a red logo on his chest. And if we take him out, he has paint apps. The eyes, the flesh-colored paint apps, his visor is already assembled onto the helmet. That'll save me a lot of stress. Because sometimes these pegs can break off the head. Great quality figure. Joints are tight. Everything looks good. No loosey parts or anything like that. The head, I take that back, the head's a little bit loose. Not a big deal. I'm probably going to end up getting um, a bio card for him and sticking him in one of those clamshells that I got. So, came with a black rifle, a black backpack, and the black night vision monocular. So, all black figure except for the flesh colored paint for the eyes and the goldish orange cobra sigil on his chest. And get this guy pulled out of the bag and go ahead and talk about the Snake Eyes Hunter Alley Viper. Again, an all-black figure. I'm gonna have to turn that off so that people will stop messing, or so that I'll stop getting the ding. Uh, we got a little bit of a, a loose elbow on this one, nothing bad. It's not, like, I mean, it'll stay. There's just a sweet spot where it's kinda loose. Which, riveting job from the factory. It's not really a, a necessarily a problem with the figure. Uh, shoulder, a little bit loose. Not not bad. Other one's much tighter. This one is tighter. And this one's fairly loose. But again, I, I display my figures. I don't play with them and pose them and shit. So. Raise up the visor. You have the flesh-colored paint apps on the eyes. And you have the gray gloves. He came with a black shield emblazoned with the Cobra Sigil. A black submachine gun. A black backpack. 
and a black grappling hook that goes onto the backpack. Get his accessories put away here. Figure back in the bag. So I'm guessing the guy with the goldish orange Cobra seal on his chest may be like a uh, division leader or an officer type figure. But moving on, we have the Bats Division Alley Viper. I don't know what kind of story could be made up with this, but he has a gray painted visor, flesh-colored paint apps on the eyes, and then the only other paint app this figure has is the yellow for the vest and for the boots. The shield, the shield does not appear to be molded from yellow plastic. It is painted yellow with a black uh, bats, Cobra bats sigil painted on it. That is a separate paint app, I believe. And he has the same black accessories as the Snake Eyes Hunter figure, the Snake Eyes Hunter Alley Viper had all around a good looking figure good quality everything's tight which makes for great posability and then we have the bats division night viper has the cobra bats sigil on his chest everything is getting tight with this guy so it seems so far Raises his visor and he has the flesh colored paint apps for the eyes. And the visor is already assembled. Again, a nice little stress, a nice little relief of stress for me so that I don't fear breaking the figure. This guy's head is nice and tight, doesn't flop around. He's very, uh, not overly stiff, but uh, he has the gray paint apps for the gloves and a couple of other things on his body here. The knife sheath. I, I know, explosives or something here, you know, right, right here, explosives or something. Um, the uh, pegs for his his rifle, and he came with, and these were all molded in black. I can see the inside of the night vision binocular. It's painted gray, as is the visor. These are painted. So he has a black scout rifle, a black backpack, and a gray night vision binocular to go with the gray night vision visor. Dig the paint apps on this guy. Got a little sweet spot here where the shoulder's kind of loose. Other than that, I mean, everything's great with this figure. Awesome stuff coming from Black Major Toys. All kinds of troop builders. Um, I got these, like I said before, I got these on pre-order. A special limited pre-order. Great stuff. Now I just need cracking cards, file cards, to go in these clamshell cases. Everything's got to go in a clamshell case, even loose figures and file cards. Anyway, um, I've got some more videos coming up. Uh, more things that I want to talk about and go over and, and do this weekend and whatnot now that I've got some time to actually sit here and, and go over this shit in my G.I. Joe room, my toy room, computer room, shirts, whatever I, I decide to do in here. Uh, yeah, this is kind of a the cave of my house, I guess. Anyway, be sure to hit that subscribe button somewhere around here and um, you know, check out another video. Whatever I, I usually just choose best for viewer and uh, let YouTube pick whatever video gets advertised up in this area. So, all right, guys. Yo, Joe. See you soon.